Hello learners of all ages. My name is Mr. Montgomery. I teach fourth and fifth grade math and today we're going to learn how to estimate products. Now, when it comes to estimation, again, it's that fancy word for saying we're trying to get a close answer or an answer that's kind of in the ballpark, a good educated guess. Now, when we're estimating multiplication products, we're trying to figure out, okay, we're going to do rounding. And when they want us to do rounding, in this case, they're trying to have us round to the greatest place value of each number in order to do that. So greatest place value for $36.74 would be at the three. So the six would go into the box here. And for 114, the greatest place value I have is this one in the 100s place. And this one in the tens place is going to help it round. Now remember, five and above, we give the underlying number of shove. Uh, if the box number is four and below, we let the underlying number stay the same and everything else goes back to zero. So six, is that five and above or four and below? Yeah, that's five and above. So that would be rounded up to a, the three would round up to a four. It would be close to $40. All right. And then I have 114. Well, the one is kind of four and below. So that one stays the same. So I have 114. Now the problem with this, or sorry, 100. Ooh, there we go. Now the problem with this one is I have a decimal and my decimal places aren't aligned. So I could take out these zeros at the very end because it does not change the value when it's dollars. That's $40. This is also $40. So I could write it like that, or I could write it like $40 and zero cents. And I would have to uh, make sure that the hundred goes over here and it's 100 like this. But I'm gonna stick with 40 and 100. So I'm gonna have 40 and 100. And this looks very similar to what we did yesterday. So how many zeros in my uh, problem? One, two, three. One, two, three, and one times four is four. So it'd be about $4,000. So the second way that we can estimate is through a method called clustering or cluster. And it's when you have a whole bunch of numbers that are you're trying to add together that are around the same value. We see that this is close to 500. That's also close to 500. Same here, same here, a little bit further away and pretty close to 500. So it's fair to say that we could take 500 plus 500 plus 500 plus 500 plus 500 plus 500, plus 500 or 500 times one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can take 500 times six. Well, I have two zeros in my problem. I'll have two zeros in my answer. And six times five is 30. Now notice how I had another zero that came up and that's why I've been trying to use the phrase, I have two zeros in my problem. I'll have two zeros in my answer right away. Didn't say that this last time, but you, have, you can have other zeros pop in every once in a while. Let's do one last example. I have 81 times 47 and I'm supposed to estimate so I'm trying to figure out the greatest value of each one. Well, the eight's the greatest value in this one, and the four is the greatest value in this one. I know the number directly behind it is going to be the boss that's in the box. So one, well, that's four and below, so eight will stay the same. But seven is much bigger than five, so that's gonna cause the four to go up to a five. Now I can multiply these two together. I have two zeros in my problem, two zeros in my answer to start out. And five times eight is, well, let's see, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Oh, okay. So it'd be 4,000. All right, my fifth grade friends, if we take a look at page 35 in your workbook, you'll see that we'll be doing practice problems number one, nine, and 14. Number one and nine, the directions say estimate each product. And number 14 says estimate each sum. And we're gonna be using that clustering uh, method. If you have any questions about how to estimate products, please let me know when you come to class tomorrow.